the proof of Clairaut's theorem. The, uh, uh, we uh, studied the higher higher partial di differential uh, higher par uh, partial derivative last time, and we state the theorem of Clairaut's. That that means when the uh, when the mixed partial derivative uh, continues, then they are equal. Or the equality of mixage partial derivative. Suppose F is defined on a disk. Maybe it's easier for a disk. Maybe maybe not, Maybe some other subset of R two on a disk D containing. A B the point A B if F X Y and F Y X are both continuous are both continuous On D, then f x y at this point equals f y x at this point. The proof is use the uh, use the conclusion of mean value theorem. First, we consider consider the difference. Maybe we call delta H. That is F A plus H B plus H minus F A plus H B. Then minus F A B plus H minus F A B. We consider this uh, the difference of this one. The first, the first part that that is the the x unchanged. The x unchanged, and the second one said so the second one is the uh, still the x a unchanged. If we uh, Let G X if we let G X equals F X B plus H minus F X B. Then if we let this is X. And then uh, this part, the first part, the first part is the first part is G A plus H. The second part, the first part, because that is G X is F X B uh, B plus H minus F X B. So the first part actually is X equals A plus H. The second part is that that x plus equals a. That is delta h is g a plus h 
minus g a. By the mean value theorem, by the mean value theorem, mean value theorem, this is the derivative at some point times h. C belongs to a and a plus h by the mean value theorem. Okay, that means h times fx g g the, uh, the derivative of g that is the derivative for x so that is f x c b plus h minus f x c b by the mean value theorem again mean value theorem the second part that is the uh, that is a change for y the b plus h that's that's b so that is h that is f x y That is for some d, for some d. Here d belongs to b and b plus h by the mean value theorem oh, times h. The term means bracket. Uh, use the mean value theorem to the to the term in the bracket that is h square f x y c d when when x uh, when when h tends to zero then c d tends to a b so Lambda delta h uh, delta h when delta h tends to zero, we got delta h over h square. That is lambda c d tends to a b. Uh, h square f x y c d over h square that is f x y a b because when h tends to the ten uh, when h uh, approaches to zero c d approaches to a b that's the that's the limit. Similarly, if we let delta h equals f a plus h and b plus h minus f a b plus h minus f a plus h b minus f uh, a b and let and let uh, g x equals f a plus h y the same procedure same procedure shows that limit 
h tend to 0. h tend to 0. Uh, here uh, is delta h over h square. That is f y x a b. And the delta x uh, and uh, the delta h is the same. So it shows that f x y f x y a b equals f y x a b both equal to limiter uh, third, uh, limiter h tends to zero delta h over over h square and this finishes the proof. Let's finish the proof.